In this video, I want to talk about my five top choices for raw bones for small dogs. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Scott the Dog Dad from DogDadOfficial.com and if this is your first time on the channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to it so that you get notified about future videos. And really quickly, please in the comments section below let me know if you have a small dog, what raw bones are you providing to that small dog? Lots of people with small dogs have concerns about what raw bones to provide. And it makes complete sense why they would get to that place and why they would be concerned. While it's true that smaller dogs do have different chewing abilities than the medium to large to giant breed dogs, there are still options out there for small dogs. And these are my top five choices. Number one, wings. Whether that's chicken wings, whether that's duck wings, whether that is turkey wing tips, it doesn't really matter. Wings are a great option. Now, if your dog has an allergic reaction or has an intolerance to chicken, as an example, I would recommend trying duck because duck is a waterfowl and may not give your dog that same reaction. So if you have a dog that has that chicken intolerance or allergy or issue, just doesn't do well with chicken, then try duck wings. Number two, backs. Again, this could include anything like chicken, duck, and turkey. I think that you would really be surprised at how well small dogs can get through a good raw meaty back from birds like the turkey, duck, chicken, etc. This would also apply for any other type of waterfowl or poultry that you can get your hands on. Number three, and this probably isn't going to be a surprise to anybody, necks. Once again, this could be with chicken, this could be with duck, Turkey's gonna be a little bit tougher, but lots of small dogs can still handle them. Now, while necks may be, and the backs as well, may be way over a daily amount of bone for a small dog, you can still provide that and take it away or maybe skip a day. Let's say that that neck has twice the amount of bone that your dog needs for that day. You could feed the whole thing and skip bone the next day or cut it in half. Number four, feet. I think at this point people are probably going to start seeing a pattern because once again this could be anything from chicken feet, duck feet, even turkey feet. Even though they are huge they still work. Like anything else on this list I do not recommend feet being the only source of bones for small dogs but it is a great addition to the rotation. It is also important to note on the note of necks, I know it was our last one, but on the note of necks, make sure that that is also not your only source. Make sure that it's only part of the rotation so that you avoid any kind of hyperthyroid issues. Again, make sure that necks are only a partial amount of your small dog's bone rotation. If you'd like to learn more about necks, check out this video where I talk about the craze about necks causing thyroid issues. And number five, rabbit, wasqui wabbits. Now, because rabbit is so small and they are so soft boned, they are pretty much perfect from head to tail. Now, the actual head itself may be too much for some small dogs, but pretty much everything else is a go. The back, the front legs, the back legs, all of it. It is all great options for small dogs. It may be hard to source in some areas and really easy to source in other areas, but it is a great option and nearly all online suppliers of raw food carry some form of rabbit bones. Raw Feeding Miami supplies them I know and if you use the link in the description box below you can save 10% off your first order. As always, know your dog know their traits, know their behavior, whether they are a gulper or not, and consider what you have available to you as the human, as the raw feeder. Take all these things into account when you are deciding which of these small bones you are going to provide to your dog, because they are all great options, but once again, make none of them your only source. Always do your best to provide variety. 
especially when it comes to things like necks and heads that do contain active thyroid tissue, which can get into that thyroid issue area. Again, check out that video that I put in a card earlier in the video. To learn more about or even get started with raw feeding, check out my free seven simple steps to raw feeding and other raw feeding resources in the description box below, including my Raw Feeding 101 course. But most importantly, remember that you don't have to be perfect to be an amazing dog owner. You just have to do your best every day and try to improve as you go forward. Peace.